Okay guys, I'm going to show you how to customize your rotating wallpaper photos, like mine are. Uh, I sure to show you how to get a rotating wallpaper, I'm going to show you how to customize the photos. Very long, complicated process. Uh, my third video tried, but as you see, I finally got it. Here we go. Okay, so all you want to do is you're going to find six images. I just went to the backgrounds app and wallpaper app, and I just did that. Alright? So if you want to find those photos, you go into private, var, mobile, media, DCIM, 10 Apple, and you'll find my last six images are the ones I want. Okay. Okay, so when you go into When you go into your thing, your extract a file, go into rotating wallpaper, go into rotating wallpaper, and you will see these six images they give you. Okay? What you want to do is you want to drag them one by one out of here, just like this, into your desktop. These are what they look like, alright? Okay. So once you've done that, oh, well, I did tell you to go to your images and just, you know, like, paste them like that. Alright, I gotta just copy them over there, I just made it my desktop. Alright, so you'll probably see them on your desktop. Alright, now what I wanna do is you're gonna put your images in there. Like, boom, 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 boom. Okay? And then you'll have to rename your images. I know, we'll, we'll get into that later. Okay, so then go into private. And you'll see the same default images again. You're going to have to take out all the default images again and put them back out here. So you'll have two of each one. And then you'll put your photos in order again. Alright. So now what you do is you're going to rename each photo. And the first photo, img1.jpg. img2, img3, img4, img5, img6. And then you're going to do the same thing with the ones out here. IMG1, IMG2, IMG3, and make sure they're the same photo, obviously. Okay, so now that that's done, you're going to drag the, you're going to, you know, like, drag this like that, and you're going to drag that into, all the way at the very end, library, and you're just going to have themes highlighted, and you're going to drag it into there. Alright, and you'll see rotating wallpaper, and you'll click on it. And you'll find. Oh, I lost connection. Okay, well, you'll find. Okay, there we go. You'll find your images there with the capital. All. Of, your images will have a capital J, capital P, capital G. Okay? You won't see the default images. You're going to have to change it to the lowercase jpg, alright? And then when you go into private, you'll see. Uh, well, I can't remember exactly what happened, but if you see the ones that are already lowercase jpg, you don't see yours, just simply go into the rotating wallpaper and just take the one one of these and drag it into here, and you'll find all of them in there. Okay, so you'll see img1 dot lowercase jpg, and you'll see img1 capital jpg. Alright, and you'll see that for each one of the images. No sounds confusing. Alright, what you want to do is you're going to delete the ones that are all lowercase. Well, make sure they're not yours. Okay, all you do is right click open. Alright, and if they're not yours, delete all the ones that are lowercase jpg. Okay, so make sure that yours are the capital JPG. So just in case you didn't get that, if you see your images in here, which are all capitals JPG, leave them. But if you see the ones that are not yours, that are the lowercase JPG, go ahead and go into your rotating wallpaper thing and drag them into here. Okay, so you'll see yours and theirs. And you'll delete theirs so that all that's left is yours image 
IMG1 dot capital J PG. Okay, so when you go to private, I think you should see both of yours already. Delete the lowercase JPG if they're theirs. Okay. Um now what you wanna do is once you see yours and both just ears and both um the private folder and just out here, you're gonna have to rename yours the lowercase JPG. Okay. The only reason I said to do this after that is so you can tell the difference. Okay. So go ahead and rename all these the lowercase JPG. All you gotta do is simply like click on highlight it, press F2, go one, two, three, three, and just go one, two, three, and then you know, rename it. Okay, and just cancel. Okay. So then you should go to the private and do that also. Alright, so your final outcome should be your photos only in both private and this one. And they should have lowercase jpgs and they should be named like that. And all you gotta do is simply just go back like that and refresh and then see the grand finale. All you have to do is you'll go into um, winter board and you'll turn yours on and there you go, you'll have it. You should have your rotating wallpaper. This didn't work and you didn't understand this video at all. Oh well. It took me a long time to do this. So yeah, it's Mr. iPod Touch 101 here. Um, and I'm out.